Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, it will be a voiceover because you guys, I have the allergies and that's that. So <laughs> today we will be doing two arrangements and yes, you're gonna get to see me how I pretty much work like a factory. <laughs> it's just, you know, I had to do it. These actually are getting done. It's a Thursday night and they will be picked up Friday. So the two themes I have, one is Encanto, which is that beautiful Disney movie. And the colors for Encanto are purple, pink, teal, and hot pink. So that's the theme that we have. And um, in this case, this arrangement is only gonna be about three feet tall, two to three feet tall. And um, as you can see, I'm using uh, 12, 12 inch balloons, which I calibrated to nine inches. Okay. And I formed a quad and now I'm going to make another quad, but with a slightly smaller, this is going to be only seven inches calibrated to go in the middle. Actually, I changed my mind and I'm going to do eight only because I think it'll look a little bigger. So um, I'm just mixing the colors and you know, it's, it's crazy you guys, because I have these two back to back and I thought, okay, it's going to take really long to do, but it really didn't. And as you can see, here's my boy. <laughs> he just came from daycare. Daddy dropped him off and, um, he was just coming to say hi. So uh, sorry, you guys, I'm in my living room. I just got to get things done. So not much there. I, I'm going to go ahead and just attach my quads with a 260. And as you can see, I'm just weaving them around to secure them in place. And this is what you end up with. Okay. Okay, so now that I have uh, my one base done for my first arrangement, I'm going to move on to the second arrangement. And like I said, I'm doing them both back to back only because I'm already inflating the balloons, so might as well just do the bases first. These are also 12-inch um, balloons that are calibrated to 9 inches each. I'm deflating them a little bit, calibrating, and build my quad. Okay, so now for this theme, the theme is actually going to be for a nine year old birthday party and it's going to be a donut theme. So how fun is that? I've done this um, arrangement in the past and the client uh, loved it. So she asked me to do the same exact thing and that's what I'm doing. So in this case, this arrangement is going to be about four feet tall. So I'm building my middle quad, which is going to be slightly smaller. This is going to be calibrated to seven inches. Yeah, seven inches. And then I'm going to make my third quad with 12 inch balloons. And that will also be calibrated to nine inches. So I'm having nine, seven and nine. And now I'm going to put them together and weaving them into place with a 260 uh, balloon. And that will just secure them into place. Now, as you can see, one stack is different than the other. And now I'm going to add my water balloons. And I want to add my water balloons in the middle, in the center, but at the bottom of my base to create that stability so that they can freestand on the floor. Okay, so moving on. I've showed you how to do these uh, bouquet of flowers before on another arrangement. And I'm gonna skip through this part because you can always check that video out where I go step by step. And I also have my foil balloons ready to go. I frame it with a 260. And now I'm just going to add a 260 uh, to create a um, tail on it so that I can weave my balloon in the middle of my base. So I'm gonna finish up with my Encanto balloon first and then move on to my donut balloon after. 
So right now, you see me, I'm just weaving the tabs of the 260 to place it in the middle. And it's nice and secure. And now I have my bouquet of flowers. They are so pretty, you guys, and it goes with the theme perfectly. So I have the ends right there that I'm making knots and cutting the excess of the balloon. Just looking it up, measure it, and continue to do the same thing for all three stems, okay? And that basically, it's going to make it so that it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb at the bottom of my base. And then once you have it all ready to go, you guys, you're going to use U-glue dashes or any type of glue, da glue dots that you may have around. And you're just going to stick them and put your flowers in place with your glue dots. That's all I need in this case. I don't need to secure with anything else. Um, these glue dots are pretty strong and they adhere to latex, from latex to latex really well. So now I'm moving on to my little clusters. I plan on putting teeny tiny clusters around my base. And as you can see now, these little clusters are made with two five inch balloons each and i'm using purple teal and pink uh, to create the two mini clusters so i'm just gonna grab make a duplet squeeze them into two and weave the four balloons together you've seen me do this little trick before in other videos so i suggest you browse around my videos if you haven't and you know learn how to build these tiny little clusters so now you guys my arrangement is almost done but i have these cute little butterflies that i purchased at the dollar tree and they bring a little sticking pad on it but to be quite frank i don't think they are as strong they're beautiful they're like 3d butterflies but that little stick on pad or little foam it's not secure enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a glue dash on it because I don't think that that's too, that's going to hold on it. So I'm going to add it, use that, and ta-da! Here's my arrangement. I mean, how gorgeous, you guys. Oh, by the way, I also added two curlies to give it that flowy look. And look at those cute little butterflies. You And look at the back. So if they see it from the back, they can see a design as well. But my main is Encanto. It's Maribel or Mirabel, I should say. Um, and that one is ready to go. So now I need to move on to my donut bouquet. Now, this one is also very cute, you guys. So I have this big donut a foil balloon that I'm attaching a 260 and weaving it into place and that's pretty much going to place my donut in the middle and begin the design process all right so now i have two seven inch um pearlized balloons that i'm going to inflate to like about three three or four pumps i would say deflate a little bit to make it a sphere as round as you can tie a quick knot and then we're gonna use clear wrapping paper just make sure you take the little cut off the little tab and then you're gonna use your clear paper and we're gonna build candy so how cute is this all right so this you can find at a dollar store any wrapping gift store you know i got mine at the dollar tree and you're going to go ahead and cover it and tape it all right so there you have it it's very simple you guys all i did to tie the ends is use use two 60 balloons of the same color wrap them and there you have your candy so now these are gorgeous they're going to go on my piece but before I attach them to my piece, I'm going to inflate my number nine because this is a nine birthday party. So make sure you hide the tabs on your foil balloons always 
make makes it look much cleaner and then for my little candies i'm just going to use balloon bond or double-sided tape okay now these are just like glue dots if you have the glue dots you can do that as well the reason why i use uh, double-sided tape i feel like it's a little bit stronger than my glue dots so that's how i attached my candies and i move on to my little clusters so i built this little uh sorry this little tiny clusters with um the same balloons i used for my base some of them are 12 inches and the other ones are some of them are seven inches i believe and same thing as i did the clusters for the encanto bouquet you just grab a duplet two balloons and split them into four and weave them together and this one was a little bit easier and look at that you guys how intricate and adorable this looks and this is such a statement piece let me tell you now if you want to add more stuff to it go ahead you know all i'm saying is is simplicity sometimes is the best form right i hope you guys enjoy it don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That helps me a million when you support me. And uh, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button below. Leave me your comments if you like more videos like this. I know this was a quick one, but I had to get going with my arrangements because they were going to pick them up on Friday. So I hope you enjoy the little details I showed you. And until the next video, you guys, have a lovely evening.